Good afternoon, everybody. It's Lynn at Cheese and Yogurt Making, and we continue our journey of meeting with cheesemakers from around England. And today I'm delighted to be joined with Claire from Wickton Farm in Herefordshire. Good afternoon, Claire. Hello. Hi, from a very wet and rainy England. Yeah. This isn't summer. It's not August that we're expecting. Uh, a bit dismal. Um, but here we are today. Anyway, this afternoon, we will continue. Um, so I would love to hear a little bit about Whitton Farm itself, which I know has been going since 1974. Yeah. The information I've got from the website. And you've got 150, maybe 170 acres. It's very big. Yeah. What's it like there? Beautiful. So, right? Yeah, so we, it's, it's family farms. So my parents started the farm in 1974 um, and I took over with my brother probably about 10 years ago. Um, and very much sort of, it was a traditional dairy farm. And over the last three years, we've decided to sort of change um, the direction we're going in. We've got a very strong vision here about trying to make positive change happen in the world. And we feel that we've got a fantastic platform to be able to, to make that change happen. Um, so a few years ago, we decided to go 100% grass fed. So we cut out all the soya wheat and we grow everything here on the farm that we feed the cows. So they're 100% grass fed, milked once a day. We've got a herd of about 60 cows now, all Holstein Frisians. And um, last year, we also decided to do a calf at foot system. So we've just transitioned onto that. Um, so lots of lots of things changing and um, and yeah, lots lots happening. But it's a fantastic farm. And again, still very much family, family run, but we've got extra people coming in to help as we sort of um, branch out into different areas. Wow, that sounds amazing. So 10 years. Uh, what so did you go and try something else and then you decide oh are you straight from I've left no, school so want to do something I'm very much I grew up here on the farm um yeah. and absolutely absolutely loved the farm but at the age of 18 I went and um studied international management and French at the University of Bath and I then got a job working in um with a volunteering organization in Senegal so I was away for a long time. I was away sort of eight, eight, nine years working wow. abroad in Tanzania, Kenya, very far away from farming. Um, <laughs> and then one day my brother rang me up and said, would I like to come back to the farm as my dad was getting older? And we were sort of looking at how we could progress and do more of the succession planning with the farm. Um, so yeah, I, I gave up my job and I came back to the farm and settled into life here and absolutely loved it. And there's something very satisfying about being able to run your own business and to be able to sort of create your own future and how you can um, you can change the world that we live in um, by the work that we do. And so, yeah, I've now, yeah, now been here for 10 years and, and the, the farm just keeps growing and expanding in, in different directions. Um, not so much as in sort of the size of it, but the, the different areas that we're working in and the impact that we're trying to have um, on, on the world. Wow, so it's very much about that impact and what you're you know to be sustainable is yeah. that is that what you're bringing well the whole family are bringing that or is that something that you've decided yeah no to... it's definitely the direction of everybody here involved mm. in the farm so if I'm I farm probably predominantly with my brother um yeah. so my parents are sort of retired now um but we've got other people coming here to work on the farm and yet yeah, the vision is definitely that everybody has to have the same mindset of, of just trying to make that positive change happen through the food that we eat how we how we farm the land how we look after the soils um and sort of the the whole vision is just to to make sure that we're looking after the planet that we live in um and and that we need to take care of it and so all the decisions that we make go back to that from becoming a plastic free farm is our, our long-term aim and so every decision we make comes back to that vision of of why are we making this decision and how can we do it better and constantly pushing ourselves to make that change happen wow, mm. that, that's wonderful um so i understand that people can come along can you can come along to the farm i noticed something on the website there about visiting what is that yeah. all about so we're doing different things. One of our things we'd love to do is try and connect people to where their food comes from. Um, and so that instigated that we started selling our milk direct. It was August last year. So we've just been going 12 months. Um, we've got two vending machines that we sell direct, one here on farm. And we've also got one in the local town, um, just so that we're trying to get that message of where their food comes from and, and to give them that opportunity to choose how their food is produced. Um, and that allows us to connect with the public. It's a great platform for us to be able to talk to people. And so we then started opening up the farm to have visits we do a lot of educational visits so we have a lot of school children coming here where we sort of start doing uh, you know right down to the basics of, of 
you know, what the cows are like, what they do, how we milk them, where their food comes from, how we make the cheese. Um, and we've also started opening up for private visits for adults as well, if they want to come. Um, we've got uh, like retired cows here on the farm as well. So, so it's great for the people to be able to come and just spend time with the cows and have that connection with, with animals that often people don't, can't get up close to. Um, so we, we allow them that opportunity, which is great. Wow, that's absolutely wonderful. Um, and is that something, how many of you are there? Have you got is, is it quite a few? So we've got myself and my brother, and then we've got two other ladies who are working here. So very much a predominantly a female team. So okay. strong, independent woman here on the farm. Yeah. And yeah, we, we run it um, all, all together, really. So, so yeah. So if anybody was interested in, in coming along and doing that, either as a group, adult, children, or, you know, even they could just check the website out just and get in touch with us. a slot or something. Absolutely. And just send us an email. We're really like open to communication. We're open to new ideas as well. We've just started sort of sponsoring the local rugby team. So we're very much about connecting with people. And um, if people come up with ideas, fantastic please get in touch um we also do a lot of volunteering placements so we work through the woof website which is the worldwide working on organic farms so we often have students that come for placements here vet students as well um so it's the sort of thing if you have an idea and you're proactive and that's something you're passionate about just send us an email and get in touch oh wow that's absolutely amazing so they can find you via the website um and what about social media you you yeah, so yeah. We, we try and be as active as we can on social media and uh, like post daily um, about what's happening on the farm. It's a really good way of getting an insight into what to what we do here. Um, it's sort of very down to earth, very realistic um, of the day to day running of the farm. Um, and so, yeah, we're active on Instagram, Facebook um, and Twitter. If you look up Wickton Farm, um, yeah. you'll be able, you'll be able to find us. So, yeah, please follow That's us. good stuff. Wonderful. So let's talk cheese. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Tell, right. So. Um, now the cheese venture part of it, how long have you been making cheese though? Is this relatively new? It is relatively new. So we've been making cheese probably about the last three months. Um, we launched it um, and we make a halloumi style cheese. So it's called Kaolumi. Um, so it's made with the with the cow's milk here on the farm. And um, and yeah, we just started recently doing it and selling blocks. We do a lot of farmers markets at the moment. That's where predominantly we sell it through, but it is available through our vending machine. Um, so we sell it sort of under the wild cow dairy as our brand for our dairy products. Um, so it's the wild cow dairy, cow lumi cheese um, that we sell. Um, so that's that's where it needs to go. So it's the halloumi style. Was yeah. that um, something that you thought you'd start with halloumi? Yeah. Was that your idea? Do you it is a relatively... Think it's a relatively simple cheese to start off yes. with. We haven't got big processing facilities here. We do just run a very small dairy here. Um, so it's 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 relatively simple to start off with. We're just branching out now to do a cottage cheese as well. Just going to be hopefully launched at the end of this month. Um, so sort of just working with the milk that we've got. We're an organic farm, so very much sort of using the organic milk that we can um, to, to create natural healthy products um and the halloumi's got a, a hint of mint with it so it's a it's got a bit of a different taste but it's really nice we've had really yeah. positive feedback from it and um yeah it's been a great venture to do because it's sort of seeing what we can do with the milk and and use you know how we can branch out um so yeah i like the idea with the, the mint taste that's a little bit unusual i haven't really yeah. come across that very much yeah, so it's very gentle. So a lot of halloumi is quite salty as well. So we've reduced yeah. the amount of salt that we have in it. It's sort of a milder cheese, but then the mint just gives it that extra boost and that extra flavor. So it's brilliant with like barbecues or if you're just grilling it with salads. It's fantastic for the summer. Halloumi, it's been really popular and we launched it at the right time because it's been really popular in the last few months. Um, Well, not that we've had that much summer and barbecue weather, but yeah. Not yet. It could be a late one. But yeah. with that nice mint, I should, I should imagine it's very fresh tasting. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 And uh, we vacuum pack it. So it's a plastic free vacuum pack that we use that we can okay. then um, distribute. So it's it's very easy. Also, if people did want to in the future, we'd love to be able to sell it online um, direct yes. to the consumers over the whole of England. As I said, at the moment, we just do it at markets locally and in our vending machines. But that's something if something somebody was interested, it's just sending us an email. We can we can sort that out. Um, but that's something we're working on is to try and get it so that people can buy access to cheese throughout the UK online. That could be that would be a really good idea. Um, so, uh, you know, the farmers markets, I guess, are just local ones. That, yeah. You know, you can get 
have you got any particular dates coming up or yeah we're, do we're doing one at the weekend so most weekends this now weekend. we're doing them in the local yeah. area and that's also something if you follow us on facebook or social media you'll be All able right. to follow where we are um so yeah. we're branching out to sort of we'd go about to a, about an hour's radius around us um for different okay. markets but yeah most weekends this 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 month especially um and then christmas time and things like that will be booked up yes. exciting so times yeah it will and as i say relatively new so mm. obviously you don't know how that's going to take off and then other cheeses might come along exactly um because obviously you've got the background there and the vending machine so you can go to the vending machine on the farm and access it's open it. 24 hours a day oh, um wow. and yeah it's, it's supplying so it's on our just at the, the back of our farm and then we've got the 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 main one in the town as well so both there if you go on the website you can see the locations of them and and they're open 24 hours a day for people to access our local products that we make here on the farm including cakes and things like that they're in the vending machine as well as the cheese and wow. also the milk that's amazing absolutely amazing where are you where's the machine based in the town for example so it's Bromyard Town Centre itself and it's by um, Legs the Butcher who's been really supportive he supports local farmers oh, which really? is fantastic um, so oh. we've had a great reaction from the local community and I think it proves that people do want to know where their food comes from yeah. they do want to have a connection with it um, and I think it also demonstrates that you can be run quite a simple um, system and still get really good results from it as well. You don't have to have lots of equipment. You just have to have a lot of passion and you have to have a, a lot of energy. But um, but the results are fantastic and the feedback we've got is great because people know that it's being made by us, like by hand here at the farm. Um, you know, so we know exactly what happens to it. It's not like we're sending the milk off and it's coming back um, transformed into something else. It is happening here on the farm. So, so that's great. And Absolutely. what what makes our cows extra special and which is where we got the name the wild cow dairy from is our cows all grow their horns um and so they have um they say that if we let if we let nature take its course and and the horns grow that the milk tastes different so we're still trying to work out we've been growing the <laughs> horns probably for about three years now um so it'd be quite interesting to see if, if there has been a huge difference in the taste in milk but it's it's beautiful to see the the herd out in the in the fields with all their horns on um walking around <laughs> yeah so oh. it's nice. Wow. Well, you've certainly got lots of energy, Claire. And yeah. obviously you, I can see, I can see how passionate you are about what you do and you've explained it and summed it up so well. Um, you've covered every aspect of, of, you know, from beginning to end and where you come in to all of this and obviously making the cheese again, it was relatively new, but you know, you, that's that you don't know where that's going to take you and what Absolutely. cheeses might come next and things go, you know, I'm delighted to be able to um, join you at this stage of your yeah. cheese journey. Um, and obviously, you know, we will just keep an eye on the website, social media, um, you know, uh, and, and follow you guys and uh, your keepers posted on what you're doing Absolutely. and where it goes next. And, you know, if people can come along, the sun's coming out here now. If we get <laughs> some more summer, it'd be a great chance to come down. Uh, they can easily book that via the website. Like you say, drop you an email. So. Um, it's all there to see so oh I really it's lovely to meet you and I really thanks, appreciate Lynn. you taking the time you're very well, thanks infectious. for your support it's appreciated <laughs> you're more than welcome you'd I'm be really, part I'm... of the journey without <laughs> you guys you. we might not be here so thank you as well oh that's really nice to hear that's I really appreciate that feedback and uh, we will continue to be uh, here and available uh, seven days a week. Uh, we are ourselves a family business and as you know uh, there is yeah. no weekends or home time it just uh, we're it always available going. online and our phones are always going off but that's what we want to do as well that's what we want to be here for you guys and support you because you're all wonderful cheesemakers out there and these wonderful stories about the farm and how you all started um and usually it's a child growing up and changing through the generations yeah. and we're just so grateful that you you put all this hard work in and uh you know, with the easy bit is tasting the rewards, which we yeah. do like. Yeah, I've tasted so, a lot of cheese recently. <laughs> yes, I bet you have. But no, we are grateful for you and families like yourselves for, um, you know, ma making this country great. And, um, you know, hats off to you. So, yeah, keep doing what you're Good. doing. I Thank appreciate you very much, your Liz. energy and it's been lovely <laughs> to chat. <laughs> Thank you.